Kahuna. <laughs> I'm always a sucker for new frames and seeing what kind of things people come up with. This frame here I have today is called the Flexi B. This one's made by TGA Frame. They have a Facebook and a YouTube page that has a lot of the flight video. Now this is different than your normal poly, uh, your, sorry, your normal carbon fiber frame. This one is what they call a polycarbonate frame and it's uh, mostly plastic and from what I've seen so far in the videos and what I've felt with this, it feels like it's very stiff. Let me go ahead and get the rest of these parts out and we'll see what it, all it comes with. So here's all the parts laid out. This is what it comes with inside the box. You got your main plate here, you have your uh, arms, and again, these are the polycarbonate plastic. And they uh, have, and from like I said in the earlier, the videos they have, this thing is extremely durable. They, uh, <laughs> they were run into a tree and uh, it was surprisingly surviving. But let's get a close-up look at these arms. They kind of remind me of the DGI style frame. Uh, these little cross uh, supports here in the middle. But it looks like from this it could probably hold uh, two millimeter size uh, screws here in the middle and three millimeter size screws out on the edges. That's good for your 1806 motors and your 2204 motors. Also included in the package are these standoffs. These are just so you can have some legs so you're not laying on your battery if you run it on the bottom. And has this little package of goodies which contains a power distribution board along with some of these little straps. And um, the straps are used to hold on your ESCs onto the arms. And it also includes an anti-vibration plate to go up on the top. I'm just going to tear this open. And a uh, strap to hold your battery on. Let me go ahead and dump some of these out here in my hand so we can see what they look like. Yeah, it comes with the four riprap straps for your ESCs. And then here's your uh, camera mount and your uh, anti-vibration top plate for your Mobius or GoPro or just your recording camera. And the uh, little rubber standoffs. This is the power distribution board, what it looks like. Looks like it has the uh, voltage out and LEDs in here. And it looks like it's probably, there's no uh, voltage reducers on here. So whatever you put in is what's going to go out of all the points on here. But it has, looks like it has the four points for your ESCs, the input uh, power back here on the back, and a couple of voltages, voltage outs for your LEDs or maybe your flight board. Because like the CC3D can run off of a 4S battery pretty easily. And they don't say that, but I've done it and it works fine for me on multiple quadcopters. Uh, these are the little rubber standoffs. And then we got this bag of screws that includes all the screws to put it together, including some spacers for your uh, flight board. TGA Frame has a great build video on putting this together. I'm going to go ahead and get mine assembled and we'll see what it looks like. So here it is with the arms and the landing gear attached. Basically the arms slide up here and the landing gear goes over and kind of grabs onto all of it. And then you have the uh, nuts that go through into the uh, main body of the plate and attach onto a couple little nuts there. And uh, that's what it looks like so far. With the power distribution board they give you, you just have to screw it straight down to the frame. The nice thing is, since this is just a polycarbonate frame, it's not going to conduct any electricity, so you don't have to worry about shorting anything out. And then I got the spacers on here for the flight board. And one nice thing about this board is it has, right here is where you plug in your battery, and you can run your battery cables down out the bottom through these two holes, so you can run your battery on the bottom if you wanted to. Also for the arms, there's uh, long screws that go down through here and they connect in right here to this part. Now at first I thought this would be kind of a weak setup having this much you know, attaching from the arm and onto the body. But with this part, uh, the leg kind of clamping over the top of it and being screwed into there and then the screw here holding it all down, I think this is actually going to be very strong on the legs and I'm a lot less worried about it now that I have uh, actually seen it for myself. On the camera mount they included these little, I think they're two millimeter uh, spacers and that's real convenient for mounting your camera. I don't think I've ever seen anyone else include those. But it comes with, the two, with uh, two screws and a spacer for each of the four corners. The canopy is pretty easy to put together just because there's only just the uh, anti-vibration plate. And I actually put these in all by myself. Usually I have a terrible, terrible time getting these things in for whatever reason. So here's what it looks like fully assembled. The only thing you need to make sure of when you're putting the top plate on is that you have follow this little arrow in, inside here to know this is the front and know that this goes up on the front too and it's pretty easy to put together. But there's six screws that hold down the, uh, the uh, top 
canopy onto the uh, quadcopter in there right there. And overall, I think this looks really good. Let me get my ZMR250 and we can compare it for size and see how much different they look. So here's the Flexi B250 and this is my ZMR250 just so we can have some comparison here. And you can immediately tell the front to back motor distance is a, is a lot bigger on the uh, Flexi B. Now the uh, side to side, or yeah, side to side is about the same. And if we look inside here, the Flexi B has a lot more uh, space inside the uh, frame than the uh, ZMR250 does. So here's a five inch and a six inch prop, and the five inch props fit on here with zero, zero problem. And the six inch props fit on here with zero problem as well. Now it looks like they're coming kind of close to the shell right here, but again, I'm sitting on the frame. So actually when you have a motor, it'll be clear up here like this, and it'll have zero problem as well. So this can run five inch or six inch props. Let's go ahead and get some weight off of this and I'm gonna throw on the uh, wrap, rip wrap straps just so we can get those included. Looks like it's about 2059, 206 grams total for the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and measure the bottom plate here and it comes in about 5.27, 5.28, somewhere in there. And it's not quite solid frame. It has some parts that are cut out, which I would assume is probably to save a little bit on the weight. And you probably don't need all of that plastic to uh, help keep the strength up either. Uh, these arms, if you look a little closer, they're not real skinny all the way out. They have this little uh, straight piece here that helps give them a little bit more rigidity through the uh, through this part that would normally be probably be the weakest point. And even up here, the uh, the arms are pretty thick coming up here to where the motors mount. So I don't think there'll be any problem with this thing having a, you know a, a obvious weak spot in it. So this has been a frame review of the Flexi B from TGA Frames. If you have any questions about this, you can visit their website, tgaframe.com, or their YouTube channel. Their name is TGA Frame. Uh, and they also have a Facebook group. And uh, like I said before, this comes in black and clear, and it is seems like it's going to be a pretty solid frame. Now, the uh, this does get shipped from Turkey. It's like $20, and they have another $7 for shipping. So for $30, bucks, you are getting quite the quadcopter frame. Anyway, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments, leave it on their website, whatever you want to do. And as always, thanks for watching.